Hey guys, today I'm going to be reacting to episode 11, I think it is, of the second season of Berserk. Don't quote me in that, I might be wrong. Uh, I'll correct myself in the title of the episode and everything around those lines. So I apologize if I get it wrong. I'm pretty sure, though, that this is episode 11 of the second season. So, uh, most likely, next episode, which is already out. I know I am two weeks behind. Next episode is the final episode of the season, unless it continues on, which I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, there's still enough space in the manga for it to continue on, so I, I wouldn't doubt it. But I feel like uh, episode 24 is the final episode of the second season or not episode episode 12 of the second season which is 24 in general <laughs> sorry about that guys uh, it's very difficult anyways the title of the episode is called Pro uh, proclaimed omens and i believe guts goes into the city and fights some of the creatures that are coming or some of these uh mythical creatures from the uh forget what the name of the army is uh you guys know what i mean anyways i'm gonna stop wasting guys' time and let's just dive into it this episode um it's been a while since i watched berserk i'm sorry about this guys i just haven't had the chance to react to anything until to now hopefully today i get a lot done though crossing my fingers might even react to episode uh 12 as well which is 24 excuse me Health hell. <laughs> That's how he thought about it. It's health hell. Oh, it's an island. Oh. Mm. Yeah, if I remember correctly, yeah, it is. Yeah, I remember that. Ooh, Farnese learning magic. Guts is like, uh, how about that? <laughs> I feel like it'll be difficult for Farnese to learn, but maybe. True training should be good. But, um, Shiriki, or however way you guys pronounce her name, I, I don't think she'll be a good teacher because she still is learning herself. <laughs> They're watching like it's a freaking novella. It's kind of funny. Look at Cusk in the back just devouring. A piece of bread, I think it is. Oh, true. So yeah, it will be even harder for Farnese to learn. Dang, I like how she's being positive about it. A normal person would be realistic about it and say it's impossible. There's no way that you can be. Wait, speaking of witches, wasn't Guts' mother hung for being a witch? And you know what? Cedar Pico's mother was burnt alive for being a witch, too. Right? That's kind of crazy. That's crazy to think about. Because, like, um, I believe uh, Senator Pico's mother was burnt because of fucking Farnese. Or at least, like, I, I, Farnese was able to, like, stop it or something. Or somewhere along those lines. I don't know. It's crazy to think about. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. 
There's my boy Gus, man. Griffiths. Oh my god, look how sick Guts look, I, like, you can't deny it. You can't get more badass than Guts. You really can't, like, there's no other character in anime that gets more badass than Guts. Like, just think about it. Like, I'm, honestly, like, I know, I know this is just my opinion, there could, in your opinion, there could be, like, more badass characters out there, but look at fucking Guts, man. Look at the shit he's been through. Look how savage he is. He straight up is a fucking beast <laughs> oh my god i know i'm playing favorites though i i shouldn't be playing favorites She's never seen the sea? Honestly, now I think about it, throughout this whole entire anime, I don't think we've ever been in the sea. But, <laughs> we'll get sick and tired of the sea so uh, sooner or later, trust me. <laughs> Uh Dude, Guts has had some little uh, like not even a little. He's had a bunch of characters of him since like the beginning of season 1. To like now the end of season 2, he's changed. It's kind of I think it's just cuz now he has people he cares about again. Other than Casca. <laughs> when does Guts never push himself too hard? Though, <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> I mean, older. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's Skull Knight. Skull Knight knows a lot about that armor. <laughs> Dude, I like how, like, it's heavily hinted that, like, Skull Knight 
went through the same thing that Guts went through, and he had, like, the Berserker armor, and that the Witch plays the same role that Shirake plays with Guts, but she did it with Skull Knight. <clears throat> Not if you wish to remain human. Excuse me. <laughs> Dang! That's a good reference. The character of the story challenged the uh, author of the story. Ah, uh -uh, boy! I can write you from existence. <laughs> Even though it seems impossible. Excuse me. Grief. His rage is coming out. The beast within. See, that's the problem. I feel like eventually, like towards the end of the manga, Guts is gonna entirely lose himself. That's what I'm thinking. Like, Guts is gonna like, just let it go and just be like, I'm gonna give up my humanity so I can defeat him. But that's not the goal. He wants to defeat him as a human. He doesn't want to push the same path that Griffith did. He wants to take a different route. But I don't know. We'll see, man. The manga's ending. It seems like it's coming close. Didn't end. But, um... Like, I'll, there's a lot of possibilities that could happen in the ending. Like, this anime is not all, like, cut in stone. Like, everyone gets a happy ending. No. Guts could lose! Guts could lose. This isn't a. Ha it could be. Uh. Uh. It won't. It, it's possible that this won't be a happy ending. She can come back. Ah, dang! Guts look adorable in that. Like the way they animated his face, because he had like that slight little hope of Casca coming back. I love how Puck's trying to feed this crab little fish. Hehehehe. <laughs> There it is, the cro crocodile or whatever it was from the last episode. The curse marks bleeding. It's an army of them. Ooh.
Dude, honestly, those things are pretty scary. So they're made. Oh, that's really interesting. So the way they're they're made is by, like, setting a, sp like, something from the spiritual world into an animal, and, and that's what is created. I think in some way. I I don't know. Excuse me. Guts is about to go in. <laughs> oh my god he's like it's a perfect chance to have a little uh, <laughs> a little bit of recovery a little recovery exercise look at Sarah Pico going in man I love that Sarah Pico has these new abilities I mean he was always pretty badass <laughs> He just rolled into his mouth. Dang! Pretty impressed. And here comes the big boy. <laughs> God damn, man. You're back in business. Nah, his arm is still freaking destroyed, though. Waiting for a chance to be unleashed. The second he lets go, the thing is going to take over him. Come on, Farnese, you got this. I was hoping Farnese was going to do something. Flashy as always. Dude, honestly, the animation, they've gotten it right. They finally flout, found, like, a fluid, you know, staple. Like, the animation hasn't changed throughout. Like, sometimes, yeah, sometimes when there's, like, background characters, it's kind of iffy. And, obviously, the demons always look weird. But, when it comes to, actually, the guts and the main characters, they do pretty well. <laughs> Unlike season one, where they fucked up a couple times. Well, I wouldn't say they fucked up. It's just it was inconsistent. Oh, yo. So those things are the ones creating him. Dang! I mean, they're still gators, though, and gators still attack people. <laughs> What is this? Dude, you know when Cedrico opened his eyes, it's something pretty scary looking. Oh my god! What is this? Yo, it's Gorgila. Santa Pink was going for it. Excuse me. Oh, it squirts water out of his tentacle. That didn't sound good. Sound like he heard something. <laughs> so there's some people controlling it, uh, controlling this creature, uh, in a boat in the water. It's down the guts. He has to use the berserk armor. He's gonna hurt himself even more, though. Honestly, if guts continues doing that, he's just gonna hurt his body to a point where it's unable to recover. The 
Beast is coming out. He let himself go. The thing looks like an elephant. I wonder what that creature is based off of. Here it comes. You gotta tame the beast, Guts. You gotta tame the beast. He went for the already injured eye so the thing wouldn't be able to see him coming. There's the blood already gushing out again. From the armor. Yep. They already have. Wow. Yo, honestly, I'm remembering how this went down in the manga. And honestly, like... I would say, like, the art style is definitely different. I, if you ask me, it's definitely a heck of a lot different. Now, I wouldn't say the anime is not, like, fucking up the scene or anything around the lines. I'm just saying the artwork looks different. Because I remember the creature in the manga, and it looked a lot different. Like, it wasn't as cartoonish, I guess you could say. Dang, dude! <laughs> he How many crocodiles did he impel just there? Creature's just eating him from the inside. That's Guts' bloodthirst, man. It's just eating him from the inside, man. There he is. The people he actually cares about. The people that help him maintain his humanity. Open your eyes, Guts. Dang, this looks amazing. Don't get me wrong, like, the animation for this scene is really good, too. He couldn't control it. <laughs> he has to let it out. That's exactly what it is. He has to let it out. He can't keep it pent up. To be continued. I wonder what next week's ep or next episode is.
Do they already set off for their journey? Basically pirates. They do. Looks like. So the next season's gonna revolve around... I Actually, you know what? No, I don't think so. I was about to say, is the next season gonna be, like, caught up to the manga already? But then I was like, nah. There's still quite a bit to happen in between. Because, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say, yeah, there's still a couple more seasons until we get caught up until the manga is right now, at, at, at the point it is right now in, um, in the story. So we still got quite a bit of time. There's still quite a bit of little content that happens in between. Uh, quite a few little fights, but actually, I, I wanna, I wanna, um, I wanna go back to, like, like, the way the creature looks in the manga, if I remember correctly, it looks very different. Um, I gotta look this up. I, I can't remember, like, because I want to show you guys, like, an image of, like, the way this creature looked like in the manga. Because, like, in my opinion, it looked way different from what I remember. <sighs> Alright, just give me a second, guys. I, I'm, I'm going to search up a picture so I can see it myself as well. But I'm also going to have the image right here once I uh, find, a, find a picture of it. Uh, so just give me a second, guys. Alright guys, so I did manage to find an image of the creature in the manga, and it is a major difference compared to from the anime. Um, it definitely looks a lot better in the manga if you ask me. It looks very cartoonish in the anime, and it looks, it, it looks way off in the anime in my opinion, but it didn't take away much about the scene. Now, while I was looking this up, I was rereading the manga, and I did notice that it did skip something. Something very important. Which pisses me off. I think, honestly, I take back anything I was talking about this season about the anime. Anything good I was talking about it, I take it back. It skipped over one important introduction of an important character that will be extremely important later on in the series. It skipped over that, which... Honestly, in my opinion, ruins the character of Nakasuka. For those of you who read the manga, you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, I honestly don't know why the fuck they skipped that. I honestly, you know what? That pisses me off so much because I, I entirely forgot about it, honestly, in my opinion. Like, I forgot it was introduced he uh, here. I thought it was introduced, like, a little bit more uh, further in the story. But then while I was rereading the manga, looking through, trying to find an image of the creature... Um, which I, I still don't remember the freaking name of this creature. I don't even think it has a freaking name, in my opinion. But, as I, as I was trying to re research a, a picture of this creature, um, I did reread the manga, and I did see all, everything they freaking skipped, which pisses me off. I honestly am triggered right now. Why would you skip this character? This character is so important to the story. Why would you skip the introduction to him? Or it. <laughs> Whatever it is. Um, I don't want to spoil much. Because, like, for those of you who, um, who are, um, anime-only viewers, which I feel extremely sorry for you guys, definitely go check out the manga. Just by showing you that image, the difference between the anime and the manga is huge. Like, look at the art style. Just by showing that image. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they skipped over this. Like it's such bullshit. And I, I'm, I'm, I honestly, I want to apologize because I don't remember uh, them introducing him here at this certain point in time in the manga. So that's why I didn't mention anything about it earlier. But like that's that's such bullshit. Like oh my god, that pisses me off. I honestly, I honestly, a little bit salty. It, like don't get me wrong, I'm a little pissed off. I am. Like, why? I, I, I don't understand. Like, obviously, I have low expectations when it comes to this anime. Like, it skipped over way too much. It skipped over a whole entire arc, for crying me out loud, in the first season. Like, it skipped over, like, the one of the m most major arcs. Um, no, nah, I wouldn't say most major. That's a little bit of an exaggeration. But, like, an interesting arc. Don't get me wrong. It definitely was a very interesting arc. And definitely add a lot to the... First of all the world building and characters develop uh, like character development with guts and everything um 
like, oh my god, like, why? I, I honestly don't understand. Like, it, it honestly, you could have done it. Like, it wasn't that bad. It, you wouldn't have added that much scenes. It, you just could have added him. Like, you see, like, when you're watching this anime and you're comparing it to the manga, you can see where they could have added it. But no, they decided to just skip it over because, like, instantly, it, they, honestly, it would have taken, like, a whole extra two minutes to add the character. After that, like, the character would have been in the scenes that you already did anyways. So, like, I, I don't even understand. Like, like, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. I mean, I understand a little bit um, that they wanted to actually cut a little bit of time. And, but, like, it, mm, like, oh, my God. It just ruins the whole entire story. It really does. How could you not have that character? <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, it hurts my head. It hurts my head. It really hurts my head. Ah, uh, and I wanted to apologize for those of you who probably were yelling at me. How do you not notice that they're skipping over something? It's just I was way too into the moment, and I entirely forgot that they introduced this character at this point in time. Like, I'm honestly, oh my god, it hurts my head. All right, anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about that. For those of you who are manga readers, let me know what you think about them skipping that character. I guess I'm going to end the video with that. <laughs> if you guys like reaction, please leave a like. Also subscribe. Check my channel in the description box below. Also follow me on my social media to keep you guys updated in case anything happens. And I will see you guys, I guess, in the next episode whenever I react to it. If, if I react to it. Because at this point in time, I'm kind of triggered. <laughs> Anyways. Bye, guys.